The infamous return of the spongy moth, previously known as gypsy moths, is expected to occur across the state again this summer. Their anticipated return is causing concerns about damage to trees and local foliage. Meteorologist Christine Gregory reports on the invasive species. The spongy moth, previously known as the gypsy moth, is an invasive species we all became especially familiar with back in 2021, where high populations of the caterpillars were causing damage to leaves and foliage across the state and creating a nuisance to local parks and backyards. As DEC forester Rob Cole explains, we're not done seeing the moths quite yet. Last year we had about 730,000 acres of defoliation that were mapped. This year, um, based on reports we're getting from the public and egg mass surveys uh, that we completed over the winter, we're expecting this year to be another uh, big year of defoliation. Places with especially high leaf damage to trees included right here in Monroe County, but also included places like Orleans, Yates, Livingston, and Ontario counties. Trees favored by the moths can usually withstand two to three successive years of defoliation without being killed, but the damage being done during the caterpillar stage still reduces the resistance of the tree, making it more susceptible to pests and diseases. Right now, the caterpillars are very small, uh, dark colored, about a quarter inch long. In the next couple of weeks, they'll molt into later instars where they'll get those characteristic uh, sets of blue and red dots across their back. And as they age and feed more, they'll get larger, and the actual moth we'll probably see later in July. Although spongy moths don't pose a major threat at this time, there are ways to easily trap them in hopes of preventing more damage. A homeowner, uh, if they have spongy moth on their property, there are a few things they can do, such as using sticky bands or burlap bags wrapped around the trunks of their trees uh, to catch the spongy moth as they crawl up and down the tree. Trees most favored by the insect to watch include oak, maple, willow, and other hardwood trees. Reporting in Rochester, I'm meteorologist Christine Gregory. All right, thanks Christine. And she adds, if you want to learn more about spongy moths, their high population cycles, and ways to help prevent more tree damage, you can go to the DEC's website or catch the web article on our website at rochesterfirst.com.